Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Candace. If you're returning, welcome back. I hope everything has been going well for you. Please let me know how you've been. Tell me everything, I hope you've been fine. So today's video, we are gonna be focusing solely on Bloodline Beauty. She was kind enough to send me over three packages full of new goodies from her line. She has like a dress me in roses sort of inspired collection and it's, it's beautiful, I love it. So if you like any of the products in this video, definitely check the description box down below. Her website will be linked um, along with my code that you can use to get 10% off and I do get a little bit of commission from that so full disclosure but yeah check it out if there's anything in this video that you happen to like at all she's got some great stuff as you can see quite stunning honestly honestly so if you want to see how i created this gorgeous stunning look then keep watching i mean we have this gorgeous mirror i guess i'll be using today okay and look at this pretty rose brush how pretty I mean, it instantly just put me in the mind of Beauty and the Beast with the rose. Ooh, it's so soft. Oh my gosh, what a soft brush. This is great. Oh, also, this was part of the rose collection, this cute little mirror. I do like this one better uh, because it's bigger, you know, super cute, both of them. The only thing that I've used in terms of like what she sent over is the brow gel because she sent me two and I've been using it on my clients and I promise you like I'm not I'm not being dramatic I promise you it is the best the best brow gel I've ever used okay i used to always use my brow soap by like different brands but man once i discovered hers I pay them dust now and that's really no shade because I like those two but this honey this is a game changer so this is what it looks like it's just like a clear gel and the reason why I like this brow gel is because with the brow soap you have to spray your brush first and then you have to like swirl it around in the soap for it to like activate with this one you just go right in you don't need much very little and what I like to do is I like to go reverse in the brows just to really get the product in those brows and then I go to work so the thing is that like with the brow soap what I noticed is that like for the most part it was cool but like some people have really unruly thick kind of brows and sometimes the brow soap would not be able to like maintain certain parts of the client's brow for me this one though, it does not matter how unruly the brow is, oh, it's laying that brow down. I haven't come across a client yet whose brows weren't snatched with this brow gel. Here are some receipts. Take a look. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows really quick and then we can dive back into these Bloodline Beauty products. Brows are carved out. I'm just basically taking like my leftover concealer and putting it on my lids to use as a base and i'm gonna use my bloodline beauty beauty blender as you can see this side is flat we're gonna try it out see how it blends and so far so good but yeah oh my gosh it, it blended it out beautifully look at that great job omg yes blender let me contain my excitement <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take a look at the eyeshadow palette in question. So it's called Dress Me in Roses. This is actually her on the cover. I think she looks great. I love the eye makeup. Um, you have the ingredients listed on the back here. It is cruelty free. Okay, we love to see that. It is vegan. Wow, I did not know this. That's so major. So it's vegan, it's cruelty free. And it has a lifespan of 24 months. Okay, so. So this is what we're working with, you guys. I'm gonna swatch pink roses, see what that's giving. This is pink roses, it's like very sheer. I'm gonna do great joy. Ooh, that's cute. Oh, let's do a little admiration, see what that's giving. Okay, she's cute. Um, I think I wanna do like a particular look, so. We're just gonna see, we're just gonna see what it's giving. To act as like a transition shade, I guess. I'm gonna see what Grace is giving and kinda go from there. I'm using my Morphe R37 brush. 
And we're just gonna see. I'm going in pretty lightly. Probably use a heavier hand. Okay, getting a little something. Not like too intense. That's cute. For me, it's like a, the perfect transition shade, honestly. This is great. This is cool. I think I might amp it up just slightly with Elegance, just to add a little bit more oomph to that transition shade. I think I'm actually gonna put a little bit of elegance like all over, like using the fluffy brush, like I'm literally just gonna drag it across my lid a little bit, just to give it like a little wash of color and to sort of help set the concealer too. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of pink roses and just dust that across my lid like so. It's very subtle, which is like what I want actually. I could use my finger too, just to add a little bit more and yeah I'm gonna do that like in the center it's just that I have to be careful with these long nails on it's giving what I want it to now I'm gonna take a really thin angled brush I'm gonna try sunlight first I don't think it's gonna give what I like really want it to but we'll see I'm gonna like carve out yeah no it's not it's not giving anything actually so I am going to go in with great joy and I'm just sort of following the natural like crease of my eye. We're gonna sort of drag that out just a little and we're gonna connect it. Boom, like so. I'm gonna take a little bit of petals and just kind of like dust this out a little, just a little, just to soften it a bit. I wonder if I like use a little gratitude here, like what that will do. I'm a little scared. I don't wanna mess this up, but we're gonna see. It's okay. I might have to just like deepen it just a little bit with thorns. Yeah, thorns is gonna carry us home, honestly. Yeah, just help deepen it just a little bit. Oh, she sent some eyeliners, yes. Uh, ooh, they are juicy too. Mm, like look at how juicy they are. Whoa, I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. A little scared. I want to do one of those like dramatic, like pointy liners, you know? Okay. Something like that. My hand is like so shaky. What the uh? Dude, I think it might be the coffee I had this morning. I am so shaky right now. Like WTF. Could be the coffee because it's like I am never this shaky, bro. W, honestly. Yeah. Okay, so boom. It's okay. <sighs> I honestly, my left hand is like sending me off right now. That's crazy. But now we get to move on to the contour and bronzer palette. Okay, she looks absolutely great. It's giving grown, it's giving sexy. I love that she has different makeup in each one. Her hair is different in each one. It's giving fierce, and again, grown and sexy. Okay, so at the bottom is the shade number along with the ingredients and it's good for 12 months. So this is what we're working with. I wonder if Loki you could use this as foundation powder too because it's giving like bronzer, you know, just matte pressed powder. Like it could work. I could see it working. I do want to be a little extra with this white shade here. I'm a little scared and because I normally, just to like snatch my nose a little, I hope it doesn't give me like a ghostly effect. Because I normally snatch my nose with my Urban Decay powder, but I'm trying to stick to my bloodline beauty, you know, because this is a this is a bloodline beauty video. I'm pretty light. I feel like maybe this one here I could do. Let's see what it's giving. You don't need like a rough hand because as you can see, it's already, you know, giving some kickback. So you really don't need like a super heavy hand with it, but immediately I can see. Oh, it is pigmented, honey. Ooh, look at that. She is generous with the pigmentation. Me gusta. I like, I like, I like. Ooh, she is snatching me up, honey. Immediately. Look at that. Mm. Love it. I'm gonna use like whatever's left over and just lightly go down the nose. Nothing crazy. But wow, she snatched me right on up, honey. Yes, she did. 
oh my gosh, I forgot about this brush. I kind of probably, it's so soft though, it's fine. I think I'm gonna use this for blush. The highlighter, this is cruelty free, lifespan of 12 months. And this is what it looks like. So upon opening it, it looks like a bunch of white powder, but do not let it fool you. This I do remember because it actually gives off like a pinky vibe once you actually rub it in. So upon going on, it's definitely white. I'm gonna use this little rose brush and I'm just gonna lightly like, this is a cute little pinky type highlight. Super cute. Do you see, do you see? Make me blush, blush. And this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna use this little rose brush to do this. Oh, it's very pigmented. You gotta be careful, girl. Mm-hmm. Look at how pigmented that is. <laughs> Super pigmented, girl. Don't, don't even play. I would say like one, one dab is enough. Boom. There we go. I'm gonna try adding a little bit of the highlight to my tear ducts and see how that works out for me. Oh, it's cute actually. It's actually pretty cute. We are gonna take a look at her glosses, okay? So there's three of them total. So we've got Bronzed Goddess, Sweet Baby, and Give Me Nudes. So this is Bronzed Goddess, okay? Very pigmented glosses, honey, wow. This is Sweet Baby. She's cute, honey. And then we've got Give Me Nudes. Honey, listen, give me nudes is really giving me nudes. So I'm gonna line my lips super quick, right? Because clearly this is gonna be like a glossy look. Sweet baby. I'm gonna put, focus this around like the perimeter of the lips. I love how much of like a very, we'll say highly, pigmented gloss this is all of them actually and so now that that's there i'm now gonna go in with give me nudes to shut it down okay mm. and shut it down it did honey oh oh this is so pretty omg this puts me in the mindset of warrior spirit that she has and warrior spirit was literally like love at first sight for me and it's literally one of my go-to's in my makeup kit but this is beautiful. So final part of the collection are the lashes. Okay, let's go ahead and pop these off because I remember these giving as well. Oh. <laughs> Look at these lashes. I think I wanna do these because they just seem more my speed. Like the rest are definitely giving, but they are super dramatic and I have to go get Shia from school. <laughs> So I prefer the more toned down effect, but wow, like, oh my gosh, look, not even measured yet. And I just know it's giving, look, honestly, she just, let me tell you something about bloodline beauty. When it comes to the lashes, my girl never disappoints, okay? You show me a day where my girl disappointed when it comes to the lashes and I'll show you a liar. So I'm just adding some of my duo lash glue to the lash that's been cut already and measured. Honestly, the gloss has it. The gloss has it. It's crazy. I can't believe it's all gloss. Like I didn't need a lipstick or anything. Like if that doesn't tell you the glosses are pigmented, I don't know what does, honey. Try to pop this on. Boom, that is cute. I know when I pick Shia up from school today, she's gonna be like, mommy, you look so beautiful. Listen, if nobody else hypes me, I know my daughter's gonna hype me. And I, I love her for that, honestly. Maybe go in at the bottom with petals really quick. It honestly, honestly looks so good. So we're gonna do these edges really quick. And I have discovered a new fave. I got the coconut milk edge control this time, but it's still Cream of Nature, my favorite brand for edge control. Honestly, they make the best. Like they have like a, I forgot the name of it. It's like a super hold though that they have. And it's just, oh, honestly, they just make the best edge control.
I look so snatched, so beautiful. I hope you guys are loving my British accent. Yeah, so this is what we have. I mean, overall, I think the collection is beautiful. I think she did quite a great job, if we're being completely honest. I love it. I bloody love it. I am very impressed with her collection. Congratulations on your collection. Thank you so much for sending over the collection. And if you guys want to try anything at all from this line or just from Bloodline Beauty in general, she has jewelry, lashes, eye palettes, beauty blenders. She is expanding and I am just here for this completely. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one.